a guide to underwearings. Now this is kind of peculiar because we're gonna talk about underclothes. So not just like bras and panties, but like stuff to wear under your costume because that stuff is important. Okay, so underwearings. That's a weird word, but I couldn't really think of anything else to call it because it's not underwear, it's the stuff you wear under your clothes. Now I was asked this question after I did my Harley Quinn bodysuit tutorial because you can see my panty lines in that tutorial because I wasn't wearing my special underwear. Yes, I have special underwear for that costume because it calls for it. And that's what this video is going to be about. So let's just go over basics. Honestly, I usually wear a sports bra because it's comfy and it keeps everything in place. Other than that, I usually go with Victoria's Secret bras because they just fit amazingly. And I hope everyone knows like the secret to making your movies look bigger. You just wear multiple bras. So if like your character is, is super busty and you're not busty at all, just put on your normal bra and then put another bra on and then another bra. You can go up to like three, four bras, I don't know, whatever you feel comfortable with, but instant make your boobs look bigger. Or if your character is really flat and you're busty, you can just suck those puppies in with a sports bra. Oh, this topic. Okay, but if you need a little extra shape and cleavage, definitely go for a bra with extra padding and good support. You're gonna need it. Other than the bras, I usually do try to wear an undershirt, mostly because that keeps your body oil and sweat from getting onto your costume. Thus, you have to wash your costume less, and thus you save the color and the disforming of the costume. If you can, as long as the lines don't show through your costume, try to wear an undershirt. It'll save your costumes in the long run. Now we're we'll talking about panties, yay! Usually, for most costumes, it doesn't really matter what you wear under it. Um, saying that is you wear comfy stuff. Um, and even though I wear whatever underwear, I always wear boy shorts over them. If you don't know what boy shorts are, these are boy shorts. They're kind of like track shorts. They do not show your butt, okay? They cover everything. This is what I wear under all my skirts. I have a tan pair so it matches everything. So boy shorts keep everything under control, under a skirt, or even under like tight-fitting clothes that you want to have a good shape but you don't want to see penny lines. Boy shorts work the best. Now for specialty costumes, i.e. my Harley Quinn bodysuit, which the whole thing is super tight. And actually I was wearing boy shorts in the video. So if you wanna check out the video, it's gonna be over here on this side. There'll be a box right here, yeah there is. So click the link if you wanna see the video to my tutorial on how I built my bodysuit. And in that video I am wearing the boy shorts as I'm trying on and fitting my bodysuit to myself. And because it's such a tight costume and such a thin material, you can actually see the lines around my legs and around my hips where my boy shorts sit. Now usually on any other type of costumes, boy shorts would be fine because the pants or the top or whatever you're wearing isn't going to show the lines around the legs right here and the legs or on your hips. But the bodysuit is one piece, that's all you get. You can see everything under it. So special underwear. Now, for my special underwear, I got them at Victoria's Secret. I have yet to find them anywhere else. They are special seamless underwear. Oh, where is like showing underwear on a TV or a computer? I think it's weird, so I'm gonna fold them up and you're only gonna see a portion of them, so you can't really tell their underwear. Yeah, so they're green with butterflies on them. I do wish now that I bought nude or black, but these were on the sale bin, so what's awesome about this is, can you see, See how the edges, there are no seams on them. This, okay, that one seam is super tiny. That's actually a fold. Is it a seam? It is, okay, that's the seam, but it's the fabric is glued to itself. And see how this, it doesn't have a seam on it? Seamless panties. And they have, I think they have bras too now. So those would work awesome under a really tight bodysuit. Special underwear for especially tight fitting costumes. So I wear these under the bodysuit and you can see nothing. No panty lines, no nothing. Absolutely, it looks like it's just glued to my body, which is awesome. Panty lines ruin your costume. Don't do it. So this is my short guide to underwear. I guess main thing is buy comfortable underwear. And honestly, I know they're kind of expensive, but they do have really good sales. Victoria's Secrets, we're gonna get your best underwear, okay? 
She had a secret and she's sharing it with all of you. You better take that. So that's it really for my guide to underwearings and panties and bras. You just have to shop around and try on stuff that is gonna fit with your costume. Sports bras, yes. Other than that, padded bras with support, boy shorts for everything, wear boy shorts. And then if boy shorts really don't work, you can see them or see the lines, then special Victoria's Secret seamless panties. So if you have any questions or concerns or comments, whatever, leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Usually I'm pretty good at that. And if it's super personal, go ahead and send me a personal message. I don't care, I'm usually pretty quick at answering stuff. I think this video wasn't as informative as I expected it to be or anyone expected it to be. I don't know, I think here showing underwear to people and buy underwear. I showed you a little so you kinda got an idea and I explained everything kinda okay. Maybe I'm bad at that. I don't know, but you guys keep saying these are good videos, so I'm gonna keep going. Good night guys. Try and pick out your panties and bras accordingly now. Okay. Good luck everyone and enjoy cosplaying. It's really late and I want to make sure my door shut so I don't wake up the entire house, including the bird, because he will go nuts. That's right, no bird in this video because he's sleeping right now. Birdie has a bedtime, okay? He gets cranky at night and he needs to be in bed right now. There's your guide to underwear.